Welcome to my channel Toon Tunes. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Once upon a time, in a small beautiful village, there was a river. Sounds of water flowing was heard throughout the day. The people of the village used to like the sounds of the river water very much. The sounds were calm and serene. There was a tree near the river. There were a lot of birds on that tree. There lived a pigeon on that tree. It cooed all the time. There was also a ant nest near the tree. In that nest, there were a lot of ants. Ants used to move continuously from one place to another. Ants used to go to the bank of the river to drink water. One day, one ant went to drink water from the river and slipped into the water. The ant started flowing into the river. It struggled a lot. The pigeon who lived on that tree saw the ant flowing into the river. He thinks himself, I should save the ant. It cannot sustain in the river for a long time. The ant will die. I have to help the ant. How can I save it? The pigeon got an idea. It threw a leaf into the river water. The ant saw the pigeon throwing a leaf to help her. The ant thinks how nice of the pigeon it is helping me. I have to get onto the leaf and save myself and thank the pigeon. Then the ant climbed onto the leaf and held tight. The pigeon picked up the leaf and put it on the bank of the river. The ant got down from the leaf and thanked the pigeon for saving her life. Everything was going on fine. Then one day, a hunter was passing by the village. He saw the pigeon on the tree. He thought this is the nice place and time to hunt the pigeon. He took his bow and arrow, and aimed at the pigeon. The ant saw that man who is targeting the pigeon. The ant thought something is wrong. This man wants to hurt the pigeon. Pigeon is my best friend. I should somehow save the pigeon. It saved my life. Then the ant went to his feet and stung him very sharply with all her force. The hunter missed the aim and screamed aloud. Then the pigeon saw the arrow missing and heard the screaming. He saw the hunter and flew at once. Then the hunter went away with the disappointment. The pigeon came down and thanked the ant for saving his life. Come we will listen to another story about a true friend. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful village. There were a lot of trees and houses in that village. There was also a river passing by in that village. There was a jungle on the other side of the village. The people in the village used to get firewood for cooking from the jungle. They use river water for drinking. There were two friends in that village, one is Ragu, and another one is Shyam. They studied in the school together. They also played together every day. It was Sunday and it was a school holiday. Ragu and Shyam were both playing together and went for a walk. There was a bridge across the river. They both crossed the bridge and went on to the other side. 
They walked very far while talking to each other and came very far into the jungle. In the jungle, there were a lot of trees, birds, and butterflies. There were also rabbits and deer which were playing and eating. This scene mesmerized them. They were very happy to see this. That was a magnificent view. Both of them walked for so long that they got very tired. They thought of taking rest for a while. They sat under a big tree and were taking rest. Then suddenly they saw a bear coming to them. They got frightened. Ragu was very thin. So he climbed up the tree. Shyam was a little fat, so he couldn't eat climb up the tree. Shyam was very scared, but he was brave and intelligent. He came up with an idea that could save him. He lay down straight. When the bear came near Shyam, Shyam did not move and he even deliberately stopped breathing. The bear smelled Shyam's scent and thought he was dead and went away. Ragu then climbed down the tree after the bear gone away. Ragu was happy and relieved. Shyam also was happy and relieved. They started to go home. On the way, Ragu asked Shyam what did the bear tell you in your ears? Shyam said, Bear told me whoever doesn't stand on your side when you have difficulties, he, she is not your friend. Ragu understood this and he felt ashamed of himself.